Hey folks, it's Bishop Heels. How you guys doing today? Um, I'm here today to tell you that we're gonna finish off with the um, Orbtronic batteries. This is the final revision phase testing. Um, I took some time to do this uh, primarily because I really, really wanted to test this out the way I vape and um, how it could handle the the amps um, at the low sub ohms that I vape on. Um, according to Sal, uh, within Orbitronics, I've been going back and forth with him as well as Emio on the board, and um, I've been playing with this battery for. Uh, a little bit over a month and a half or so right now and I have to tell you I'm extremely impressed by this battery I'm really impressed um, it's a high drain okay 2900 10 amps 18650 um, this isn't the CGR cells okay these are the newest NCR cells from Panasonic okay um, one thing I have to tell you I'm very impressed is that how it holds the voltages um, I can vape on this for a little over an hour at 0.7 ohms 0.8 ohms and it's still going with no problems um, if I go to 0.6 ohms 0.5 ohms I have one on triple coil and one on duals right here okay so um, I'm going to show you and also how it would handle a 0.3 ohm setup as well. This battery is extremely impressive, more than the, um, I'll show you, more than the uh, AWIMRs 18650 high drains. And the MNKEs provide me with an extreme good vape better than the AWIMRs for certain builds uh, when I go for triple coils um, I'm kind of hesitant to use it on this because it drains it so fast and on the MNKEs it lasts longer the charge um, than it does on the AW now there is a good reason to that um, the reason is because the AW batteries, they're trying to put in good cells, a mixture of different manufacturers. It's never the the same. It's it's always hand-picked. That's why it's not like a branded cell. It's just AW IMRs. That's it. Um, however, on the Panasonics, which are these, they're Japanese, and they keep using high-quality um, cells to produce these. It's, a, it's an extreme better quality, and this one, which is a 2900 uh, Maz on there for 10 amps, don't let the word 10 amps scare you because I'm going to show you right now on, the, on their site, here we go, this right here, this is the actual battery that we've been testing, and... Um, as you can see, forgetting this graph because this is like if you have it pressed for three amps, and we're, that's that's not what we're doing here. Um, the maximum discharge, if you're doing it constant, meaning if you have the power button pressed from now until the battery dies, uh, is 10 amps. Okay, um, this five six seconds. This is what I like to see because this tells me I can go up to 18 amps on that same battery. Okay. That's the maximum load if you're doing anything uh, below five seconds. Okay, meaning if you press that power button, minimum five seconds, that's it, you let go, you're safe. Anything over five seconds to six to eight, nine seconds, you're gonna be cooking the battery. You don't wanna be cooking the battery. Okay, and what I mean by cooking the battery is if you're actually within the parameters, keyword, parameters of those amps, okay? How do you know if you're in those parameters? Quite simple. We're going to use this right here as a guide. Um, starting out, we're looking at uh, 4.2 volts. Let me just move some stuff around here so I can get my keyboard out. 
Okay, so we're at 4.2 4.2 volts and we're looking at let's say you're vaping at 1.5 ohms. So you're actually way below the threshold of 18 amps because you're only using 2.8 amps. Okay? Now, for someone like me, let's say I'm vaping at below sub ohms, say I'm at 0.7 ohms. Okay? I'm going to calculate that. Now, I'm at 6 amps. I'm now aware even near the 10 amp parameter if I was going to leave that press for longer than five to six seconds. I can have that pressed to 15, 20, 30 seconds. Battery will be fine. There's no problems. There's no shortages. Nothing. You're fine. Now, um, and that's at 0.7 ohms. So if I go to 4.2 and I do, say, 0.6 ohms, okay? I'm going to calculate that. I'm in the current of 7 amps. Not many people that I know would vape at 0.6 ohms. Okay, only a few. Well, not a few, but you know, a good amount of people do vape at these at these levels. Even at 0.3 ohms, which I will show you. 0.3 ohms, 4.2. We're looking at 14 amps. Now that's a big jump from what we were just looking at. Okay, that's a big jump from here. From 0.6. Okay. It's a big jump, 7 to 13 amps, okay? Now, if, if you're doing um, 0.6 ohms, that if you're doing 0.6 ohms, you're fine. You're in 7 amps. You're between the 10 amps parameters. So you can leave that press for longer than 10 seconds. Now, if your vapor likes to be at 0.3 ohms, like me, that would be a little different. Then you're looking at, you know, you're still in the threshold of 13 amps, being that you're using 13 amps, then you fall under this category, 18 amps. You don't want to leave that press for longer than 5 to 6 seconds. General rule is up to 18 amps, but we're not even using 18 amps, so maybe you can leave it pressed up to 10 seconds, which I will be showing you. Okay, that is the thing that we need to look at here. That's what makes this battery fantastic. If you know your parameters, you understand the parameters of what you're vaping, this battery is ideal, that's for sure. Um, so, what are we gonna do? Simple, take a freshly charged Orbitronics right here, okay? I'm gonna put it in, GGTS, and I'm gonna put it on the IATI. And I'm gonna vape it. I'm gonna count, 10 seconds. Okay, now it's starting, now it's starting to get a little dry. That was like almost 15 seconds of one drag, let's say, chain vaping. Um, already on the 13 second is when it was already getting a little dry, but this is cool. It's not hot, okay? Because I'm, I'm vaping within the parameters, okay? I'm not even doing 13 amps here. I'm not. I'm, I'm only doing, I believe this is like 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 ohms is what I have on here right now. Delicious vape. Delicious vape. Let's see. One point two. Internal resistance, 0.6. Internal resistance, 0.6, and uh, 1.2 ohms, so minus 0.6 ohms from 1.2 is 
0.6 ohms is on here. Dual coil, okay? And as you can see, I'm using the Orbitronics, okay? Panasonic battery. Mm. Delicious vape, great vape. I can leave this press 10, 15 seconds, no problem. It's not gonna get hot, it's safe. It's within the parameters. So if we go back over here, and we put down 4.2 for voltage, resistance 0.6 ohms, calculate, and there it is. I'm at seven amps, okay? So I gave myself three amps of room of playing, okay? And this is within the parameters that you can leave it press until the battery done, you know, until the battery is done. But that doesn't happen in vaping because we're pressing it really realistically here. Maybe five seconds, four seconds, we're grabbing a grip, quick tube, and we're letting it go, do another one back and forth. And if we're chain vaping, then we may hold it for maybe seven seconds, six seconds or so. But we're, we're in the parameters, and not many people will vape at 0.6 ohms. They're vaping at higher ohms than that, and that would decrease the amps, okay? But for a vapor that loves to vape at low sub-ohms, this is a good, 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 good battery to use. Um, coming back here, now, just to show you, if I were to, let's show you this build. This is dual coil, 0.3 ohms, okay? 0.3 ohms, dual coil. And I'm using an Orbitronic. It's the new one, the new cell. Oof. <coughs> wow. Oh, it's a good vape. Mm. Now this one, at 0.3 ohms. Four point two volts. And we're doing 0.3 ohms. We're at 14 amps. Okay? 14 amps. Keep in mind, keep in mind. That's 14 amps, not 18 amps, okay? 18 amps is when you have to be vaping only no longer than six seconds. Then you gotta let go of the power button, okay? Now, not many people are gonna be vaping at 0.3 ohms. I only know this, honestly, very few, maybe four or five people that I know in my group that we vape at that low, okay? As far as low resistance. Um, there are some that would vape at 0.5 ohms. Okay, which is fine. 0.5 ohms. Let's check this out. 4.2. And we're doing 0.5. Okay. And you're not even, even hitting 10 amps. Okay. So, as far as this battery is concerned, this battery will give you uh, the advantages that you're looking for in the sub-ohms. Now, if you're not in the sub-ohms category, you can save some money and purchase an AWIMR. There's nothing wrong with those batteries. Those batteries are great, high-drain batteries. 
okay? But if you're doing sub-ohms, you, you want to use a better quality battery than an AWIMR, okay? Um, you can use the MNKEs, which I do have. They're, they're great batteries. I'm not knocking it. Um, the, um, these Panasonics are tremendous. I got to say, they're really, really tremendous. I've purchased a few more. Um, I got four in total. I got six MNKEs, six AWIMRs, 18650s. Um, I mean, I use a lot of batteries, and I can tell you that the Panasonics, they hold up a really, really decent, good charge. And on the AWIMRs, if I were to use those, I would actually feel the pipe, the, um, the base, getting hot. Okay? It, it gets hot. Like, if I'm holding it for seven seconds, eight seconds un under extreme low ohms, like what I'm doing right now, it just, it can't handle and it's not safe. So I don't use it for these kind of ohms. But if I'm at, you know, one ohms, anything under 10 amps or within the 10 amps, I, I can use AWIMOS, no problem. When I go above the 10 amps, I notice it will drain the battery pretty quick and it can also get the, the base a little warm. On the MNKEs, I don't have that problem. No problem. Um, I can use the MNKEs on this 0.3 ohms as well, but it drains the battery a little bit more, a little bit quicker than it does on these Panasonics. I'll show you. It'll vape very well. But I can also feel the vapor, the, it's not as strong as it is this. Mm. It's a little bit lighter. If I switch, these are fully recharged batteries. Mm, very hot. Much, much, much hotter. Get the juice go down. Mm. Excellent. Totally excellent. Mm. Even on the IATI at 0.6 ohms is really, really, really delicious. It's really good. Oh, it's delicious. But I just wanted, you know, just to spend a couple of minutes. I did promise I was going to do a follow up. And, um, you know, I had to take my time with this because I really wanted to explore the angles. And I've also explored it onto my ex wife. The battery works very well with the Prevary. Um, I mean, you're not... The thing is, I think, personally, the battery will be a little too much overkill for the Prevary. You will be using the 2900 miles on here. There's there's no question about it. Because um, it will probably prolong the battery a little bit longer than the AWIMRs. Without question. Without question. Because even if you use the 2000 miles, as you know, this is 2900 miles. So it will prolong it. But, you know, is that worth the expense to pay a little bit more money? I, I would, no. I, I, don't, I don't think it's worth it. Um, I think it's more worth for a mechanical mod that you're trying to push sub-ohms and you want a different alternative, a better alternative of a better quality of battery that you can use, okay? Um, other than AWMRs, MNKEs, you have these. You know, you can use these. Panasonics, um, they're, you know, they're, they're totally, totally terrific, terrific batteries. Um, I'll post as far as on my, um, on my description where you can get them and um, get some more information about them. And you can also send an email to Sal 
on Obertronics. He's been helping out tremendously as far as for anyone that has any questions. I mean, I posted uh, all the questions that Emil and a lot of other people had directly to him, and I copied it and pasted it onto the GG forums. Uh, it's on there for the Orbitronics 18650 2900 Mars High Drain version part one. It's on that forum, on, on his GG forum. Uh, you can read everything that was transpiring back and forth. Um, email also put it in his calculator with the datas that I got from Sal, and he was coming out with a very, very long, like two hours and a half time before he gets charged if you're vaping at like 0.7 ohms. Um, it, it comes out about two and a half hours before you get to charge it. Um, me, I would take it to work. I don't vape all day at work, just random, you know, every other hour. So I'm, I'm, t I'm doing a chain vape, then I put it down. I don't go back to it like to another couple of hours or so. But when I'm home, yeah, I, I chain vape like a fiend. So that's, that's the only thing. Um, but I have my charges here. But that's it. I just wanted, you know, just to touch base on that, just to let you know. I didn't forget. And I just really wanted to really thoroughly test it out on my devices and stuff at this time. And no problems. I had no problems whatsoever. It's, it's a very decent, good quality battery. So if you like what I have to say and you want to know any further news, feel free to subscribe. Uh, keep you posted on, especially GG Ithaca is coming real, real, real soon. Yep, yep. Shipping has been sent, so um, I should be getting mine shortly. Um, I will be at Vape Bash this Friday, coming up in Saturday. So I hope to see you guys there. Um, you're more than welcome, you know, to meet up with me. You know, if you guys need me to make your coils and stuff, I'll be more than happy to. I'm going to definitely need somebody to bring a torch. I can't bring that on the plane, unfortunately, but I will bring mesh, wire, silica, and stuff. I can help you guys out, okay? Um, so, um, also, you guys can catch me live tonight. I'll be online, uh, 9 o'clock to 10, East Coast time, on vapetv.com. And also, you'll catch me Thursday night at 8 o'clock to 9. Uh, I switch my hours from 11 to 12 to 8 to 9 just for this Thursday because i got to catch an early flight to Chicago Friday. I'll be at Vape Bash, baby. Okay. So, with that, I'm going to let you guys go. Live hard and vape hard, baby. Ciao.